guys it's Karima and welcome back to another video so in today's video we are doing all the things from cleaning putting away groceries food prep laundry you name it we're doing it so if you need some motivation to get some things done today then you'll enjoy this video I feel like I haven't introduced myself in a while so if you're new here welcome again my name is Karima I'm a wife and mom of two. I'm a full-time registered nurse and a YouTuber. And on my channel, I like to motivate mothers to get things done, but on your own terms. Hence the name Guilt-Free Mama. I raise my family, my children. I take care of my household my way. It may not look like how everyone else does it, but that's okay. We're all uniquely different but we're all great in our own right. And if you're interested in that kind of content, consider subscribing because I think you'll enjoy my channel. Also, please like and comment. It really helps my channel and my channel growth and it is greatly appreciated. So as you can see, I'm starting out in the kitchen with these dishes. I feel like in life, there are two things you can always count on and that's laundry and dirty dishes. So I'm just gonna get on it and tackle that. I wanna do some food prepping for the week, but I need to get the kitchen clean first. So while we're washing some dishes, let's have a little girl chat. We can talk about other things than cleaning. I really wanted to talk about my finances because it's been stressing me lately. Not really my personal finances, thank the good Lord for that, but more so taxes and the fact that I recently refinanced my house. Oh my goodness. I really feel like refinancing was more stressful than the original loan. It really doesn't make any sense how hard it was to kind of get that to go through. But we recently got that done and I'm really happy about that. But the next thing I need to tackle is my taxes. And thanks to YouTube, even though I'm so grateful for this platform and this channel, it has really complicated my taxes. So that is something that has really been stressing me. So if you guys have any good advice on how to tackle that when you work a nine to five job, a W2 type job, and you have a small business on the side, I am in the process of looking for a good CPA to kind of help me take care of these things. So if you know one, help your girl out and leave that information in the description box below or the comment section below. I would also love to be an inspiration for you guys in other ways. I love the fact that you guys are motivated by me and inspired by me. So I wanted to share a little bit about my financial journey. I know this is very different, a diff very different topic for my channel, but it is actually something that I love to talk about. And I am thinking about sharing more on it. I don't know if it'll be on this channel or I'll make a different channel, who knows? But I really like talking about financial literacy because I have managed to change the whole trajectory of my life in four years by becoming financially literate. Now, I won't go into detail in this video, but four years ago, my financial life looked very different than it does today. I was in six figures of debt. Yep, you heard that right. Six whole figures, girl. Craziness. I was living in one of the most expensive cities in the US, I think is one of the most expensive cities in the world. And I was making a six figure salary living paycheck to paycheck. And quite frankly, I was depressed. Fast forwarding four years later, I managed to pay off all but 15 grand of that six figure debt. 
you know, student loans is zero percent interest right now, but I'm gonna take care of that eventually. I managed to cash flow a move from New York to Texas, so halfway across the country, and I managed to cash flow a down payment for the house that we're living in right now without acquiring any more debt to do any of those things. Of course, we have the mortgage on a house, so this doesn't include the mortgage, but. I did all of that in four years and if you guys are really interested in hearing the story on how I did that I would love to share that with you but in this video I'm partnering with Upstart and I'm really excited to share them with you because if I knew about them four years ago it really would have made my debt payoff a lot easier. Now, if you are currently in a situation where you are tackling high interest debt, maybe multiple credit cards with really high interest rate, Upstart may be an opportunity for you to get control over that. Upstart is a fast and easy way to get a personal loan to consolidate and pay off your high interest debt. And with a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans from $1,000 up to $50,000. And you can get approved the same day and receive your funds as fast as one business day. And the coolest thing about them is that they assess more than just your credit score. So fun fact about me, four years ago when I was going through my mountain of debt, I had one credit card that had $20,000 on it with an interest rate of 26.99%. So I would have loved to have taken advantage of this opportunity if only I knew about them. My credit had also taken a hit when I was tackling that large amount of debt. So it's really nice to know that they consider your whole financial profile and not just your credit score. And if last year taught us anything, it's that we cannot afford to be financially fragile. So many people were financially devastated by the events of last year. So now is a perfect time to get your finances in order if you're not already there. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today by going to upstart.com slash guiltfreemama. That's upstart.com slash guiltfreemama. And if you decide to check it out, please use my link so they know that I sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. So go to upstart.com slash guiltfreemama and see if you can get a better interest rate to tackle your debt and take control of your finances. So I've mentioned this before, but if you're new here, I use a fruit and veggie wash that I get from Trader Joe's to clean my fruits and vegetables. Sometimes I use vinegar as well. Sometimes I use both, but I like to use that fruit and veggie wash. You saw how much dirt came off of the strawberries and the blueberries.
So I always get a ton of questions about my produce keepers. I got mine from Aldi and Costco. Aldi is a hit or miss. It's hard to find them there. You know, with all the finds, you snooze, you lose. But Costco brings them out every season. It looks like I've seen them every spring. They actually just had them out, so they may still be in the stores now because I saw them in uh, the flyer for the last month's sale, April sale, and it's only the beginning of May, so you should be able to get them now. But they sell out quickly, and then usually I don't see them again in the stores until the following year. So even though he wasn't on camera, my husband was helping me tackle the laundry. The only reason why I'm mentioning that, well, I guess it kind of looks weird with the laundry over there disappearing, but I also get comments about me doing all the housework and my husband or my children not helping. And I try to explain that that's just not the case. I mean, you have to re remember that these are short videos, that this is also my YouTube channel. It's not necessarily a family channel, even though I share my family, but they don't necessarily wanna be filmed cleaning. Um, sometimes they don't mind. Sometimes they do and that is okay because this is something that I chose to do. It doesn't mean that they don't help me. They just don't always help me on camera. So in the next clip coming up, I wanted to show you the comparison of my folding compared to my husband. You'll notice a very distinct difference, but in my defense, my goal is just to get it done. I can fold about three or four loads of laundry in about 30 to 45 minutes, whereas he will fold that same amount of laundry in about three or four hours. So his may look better, but I get more done. So now that the kitchen is like somewhat decent, I can start dinner. I had the chicken soaking in the sink to defrost once I was done cleaning all the fruits and vegetables. So now that that's nicely defrosted, I can start working on that. And just a little hack, if you're new here and never heard of it, if you need to defrost your meat quickly, put it in a bowl of water with some lemon juice or vinegar. Something about the acid makes the meat defrost really quickly. You can literally defrost meat in 15 to 25 minutes if you really need it done quickly with lemon juice or vinegar. So we are going to have chicken two ways. I just like to have a variety so it doesn't feel like we're eating the same thing every day. But I just washed off my chicken. I like to kind of squeeze some of the water off so it's just not super wet. Don't ask me why. Some of these things are just habits. And I am making it in the crock pot. And I am using that Mississippi recipe. So if you ever had like a Mississippi pot roast, I use the same exact recipe for the chicken, I just substituted the beef for chicken. No. 
So my baby bear is home from school and that means everything must stop and I have to make him some lunch because he is like a grown man coming home from work. He is hungry and he needs his meal ASAP. You're gonna eat your food. My little lady also came home about an hour after him and she requested waffles with blueberries. So we are going to have our dinner with brown rice and veggies. So I'm just going to get the rice started in the Instapot. To be honest with you guys, I haven't made rice on the stove in years. I don't even know if I still know how to do it. I mentioned before that we are going to have chicken two ways. So we're having the chicken breast in the crock pot. And we're also going to have some chicken wings that I'm going to make in the air fryer. So I just wash those off and dry them. And now I'm just burning off the feathers that are still on the wings. Some people were like really shocked to see me do that. And that was new for them. But yeah, it is just the easy way to get all those extra feathers off because I cannot, I just can't eat the chicken like that. I learned this trick from Marriage and Motherhood. Actually, her name is Gia, but her YouTube channel is Marriage and Motherhood. And she always made this oven fried chicken and how she did it without like flour or grease, she would use bacon powder. So I started doing that to fry my chicken in the air fryer and it comes out perfect every time. So I just mix all my seasonings in a little bowl and then I add about a tablespoon of baking powder and coat the chicken with that. And it literally is crispy like fried chicken. I don't know if my baking powder is old or this is normal because technically it's not past the expiration date but it just gets those little hard clumps in there what do you guys do about that to prevent that you see how some of it is falling out and it's real like kind of clumpy that's why I was mashing it with the spoon to try to break up some of those clumps but is there anything that you can do to prevent that or do I need to throw this baking powder away Now I do spray my chicken with a little bit of olive oil. You'll see me do like two squirts on each. It just kind of, I don't know, dries up some of that seasoning. Or when you fry it, you'll still kind of see the seasoning. But this is the result. It looks like deep fried chicken and it is super crispy. I am gonna add some to some barbecue sauce that I have kind of just sauteing on the stove because the kids prefer barbecue sauce. I get that Memphis style barbecue sauce from Aldi and it is so good. It reminds me of that KFC barbecue chicken. If you've ever had the little barbecue chicken wing X from K KFC, it reminds me of that. Isn't KFC, wasn't he from Memphis? Um, no, he was from Kentucky, right? Kentucky fried chicken. Anyway, that's what it tastes like. So in the next clip, you will see what the complete meal looked like and it was delicious as always. This is the end of the video. So if you are still watching at this point, you are the MVP and I definitely appreciate you guys for it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like and comment to help me grow my channel. Also follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.